president's Supreme Court nomination has triggered a fight within the Republican Party. High-profile conservatives have decided to open fire, accusing Sotomayor of being a racist, temperamental, and an intellectual lightweight. But moderate Republicans say the rhetorical flame-throwing has to stop. Let's turn to two former Republican House members, Susan Molinari and Tom Tancredo. Uh, and to you both, and Susan, we'll start with you. The president reacted to this uh, controversial speech that um, controversial remarks that Sotomayor gave. He said that she, he's, he's sure she would have restated it, but then he defends the context. Your reaction? Well, listen, I, I, think, I, I think everybody's reaction should be, let's wait and see. This is a woman who has a life that I think should be celebrated by the United States. She has lived the American dream. She is not an intellectual lightweight by anybody that I can call and, and who I know who has served with her um, in, in New York. Uh, on the other hand, she has some, some controversial decisions that I think we need to hear from. I think the whole point of this process is to wait for a fair hearing. These are not answers that can be determined as to whether someone can fit the realm of Supreme court justice and a lifetime appointment in 30 seconds or based on two sentences that someone makes. So I think we're making a mistake until we give her time um, to explain who she is, what she is, and what her decisions are. Look, what the Democrats did to Mr. Miguel Estrada uh, was an absolute shame, and, and I would hate to see the Republicans do this to this woman. Mr. Tancredo, first uh, on what President Obama said that she would have restated those controversial remarks in 2001. Your reaction? Polling must have told them it wasn't working very well, right? They, um, and I'm sure, by the way, that they've had the discussion with her. Right? It's not going to be something they're going to do. They've had a discussion with her. She's going to do exactly what the president says. She's going to say, I, would, I wish I could have rephrased it or whatever, because they've tested it, and they figured out, you know what? We haven't been able to actually... Um, defend her as, uh, as we thought we were Mr. going Tancredo, to. So do you know that they've actually done testing? Do you know that they've actually done polling No, no, no. I, no, it's my, no. Okay. Totally, let's, totally let's my, on. Let's, totally let's my focus on something that you said. You've been one of her harshest critics, and that's clear. Let's listen to something, a charge that you made. Watch. If you belong to an organization called La Raza, in this case, which is, from my point of view anyway, just nothing more than a, a Latino, um, it's a counterpart, it, it's a, a Latino mm -hmm. KKK without the hoods and or the nooses. If you belong to something like that, you have to explain that in a way that's going to convince me and a lot of other people that it's got nothing to do with race, even though the, the logo for La Raza is all for the race, nothing for the rest. Mr. Tancredo, uh, La Raza is the largest national Hispanic civil rights organization in the country. Uh, Susan Molinari has even gotten some awards from them. You called them a Latino KKK. Would you like to take this opportunity to apologize? <laughs> no. No. So Why you should believe I? That they're, you um, believe that listen, they're like the KKK. So well, let me follow Susan, up because let's just follow up right there. Susan, you believe that they're like the KKK, but here are the companies, Mr. Tancredo, that are either remember, on the board I said, or donors to LaRosa. Johnson & Johnson, and Johnson I said without Allstate, AT&T, Coca-Cola, McDonald's. They have a so conference what? coming up talking about strengthening the Hispanic American family. How is any of that anything like the KKK? That's not. But how about this? Uh, and I'm glad to know Susan got an award. They, they gave an award to somebody else, by the way, not too long ago. His name is Jose Angel Guterres. Mr. Guterres was the founder of the Brown Berets. He was given the National Council of La Raza's Chicano Hero Award in 1994. Here's what he said. Uh, one of the things that uh, he said led up to this award. Um, we've got to eliminate the gringo. And, we, and what I mean by that is, you know, Mr. Uh, if Tancredo, the worst comes if you to the worst, we have to kill him. We have to kill him. We have to kill him and never apologize. As well. or, here's the issue. Are you going to let me finish this? Or, now, yeah, they gave him an award. Don't try, to, don't try to excuse him. Don't try to excuse this away. They gave this racist an award. If that isn't an indication of where their head is, then you tell me what is. Okay, so everybody who gets an award is a racist. And if that isn't a KKK type of activity, tell me what is. I think we need to discuss the qualifications of this, Supreme, this pending Supreme Court justice. And well, I, I wasn't as, asked as about Republicans, that. No, 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 I'm not. I'm, I'm just discussing this with David. I think that as Republicans, we have a woman who's, who's, whose life story should be celebrated. It is a great reflection on the United States. She has made some decisions that I think need to be explored and debated. But Susan, and, how do and we explore and debate that when people like Mr. Tancredo are making accusations that this I organization guess, is like the KKK? I guess I'm here to just say I would hope that the majority of Republicans, as as most United States senators have done, we'll just wait, hear this woman, ask some difficult, discerning questions, get some very important answers, and Susan, then come to a deliberative decision. That's what this is supposed to all be about. Of course Sometimes, they Sometimes, you know what, the Democrats did not do that for Republicans, including the President of the United States okay, with Sam you. Alito. Listen, 
Susan is absolutely right. That is the process that will unfold, but it is certainly not unprecedented to have discussions about, of politicos leading up to the appointment uh, and or, I mean, the, the actual hearings in the Senate for uh, lots and lots of uh, but uh, Mr. people who have come before them for Supreme Court nomination. There's nothing new about this. And when you have a, a, a candidate this controversial saying the kinds of things she says uh, uh, and judging the kind of cases she has judged, especially on the Second Amendment issue and in the Connecticut issue on, on, uh, on discrimination, these are very, very high-profile cases. There's things that are that are certainly out there in the public Mr. Tancredo, domain that's for us fine. to discuss. And that's a totally and valid argument. That's to a totally so. valid, valid and legitimate argument, as you say. But that's very different from suggesting that an organization is the KKK. But here's what Rush Limbaugh well, said along that vein. We got two different things going on no, here. Here's what Rush Limbaugh. Here's what Rush Limbaugh said about Sotomayor. Watch. How do you get promoted in a Barack Obama administration by hating white people? or even saying you do, or that they're not good, or that put them down, whatever. Make white people a new oppressed minority, and they're going right along with it because they're shutting up. They're moving to the back of the bus. They're saying, I can't use that drinking fountain. Okay. I can't use that restroom. Okay. That's the modern-day Republican Party. Mr. Tancredo, do you agree that the Obama administration hates white people? I don't know, I, but I'll tell you, you this. Don't know? I certainly agree In that, other words, that they it might? is. We, 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 no, no. What do I, I have? No idea if they hate white people or not. But I will do tell you, you any this: idea that, that they that don't I am hate sick white of ha people. Having people dis I'm, I'm, ha I'm sick of having people suggest that because I am Caucasian, I cannot. And that's the suggestion here, is that if you are white, Caucasian, male, you cannot comment on this sort of thing. That's ridiculous. It, you know what it is? This is a matter for all of us. We're talking it, but, about the highest appointment in the land and on the, on the, on, in the judicial system. Of course we should discuss it. And, and I'm, I'm, I'm appalled by, quote, moderate Republicans who are out, I don't know who they are when you were earlier saying they're out there saying, don't say these things. Listen, it's you guys who got us into the situation we're in where we are in a minority status in the Congress. We've listened to you way too long. If you wow. want to do Susan, something for the Republican fault. Party, think, establish the difference. I think that's a, I think establish that's a the difference between us and the liberals. In terms of what got Susan, us is the Republican Party <laughs> being helped or hurt by the likes of Tom Tancredo well, and Rush Limbaugh? I'd, leave, and I'd love to do it. I, I, I had to serve with George Bush. I, I, I think that um, <laughs> this country is not served well until we get to a point where we discuss and I will agree with Tom on this, some very important decisions and issues that this woman has made. And I think but that, how, that Susan, we are served we, that, as a party absolutely, but when how do we you, keep it on those topics but, and reserve judgment until But how do you hearings. get to that discussion when you've got Rush Limbaugh saying that the Obama administration hates white people and you've got Tom Tancredo saying well, he's not even sure? Again, we, we do what was not done in some cases with regard to Bush appointees to lower courts and that we have a full hearing. We allow the nation to pay attention. We all just hold our fire and our judgment. And again, celebrate this moment in this woman's life, which I think you can do and still vote against once you hear what the answers to her stories are. Um, I guess I would just hope that we all presume and proceed um, respecting her, respecting her life, um, and respecting her ability to make a legitimate and logical argument. And, and then fair game to vote against her if you think she is not up to the, 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 the mandates of being a Supreme Court justice. Tom Tancredo, I want to be fair here and give you yet and another opportunity. I would love to be able to be here. I want to be fair. Do you, do you regret anything you said I, in this segment, whether it's the not knowing whether the Obama administration I, hates white people me? or about the La Raza being like the KKK? Do, I, do you regret it? Do anything? I regret it? Yeah. Do I regret it? Uh, do you regret anything you've said so far and in, in, uh, the implications that you've thrown around on this program? I don't think so. I Neither do I. Any but I'll tell you this. You... I certainly agree with Susan Molinari. I still certainly agree with, with her about the, the fact that we have, uh, the, we've seen this before. I wish I could be here defending M Miguel Estrada, which I would certainly do. I would love to do. Because all of this discussion, for at least from my point of view, about the, about the appointment process, has never, in my, in my past certainly, nothing I've ever said has anything to do with race. I was quoting what somebody else has said who is now up for an appointment, and it had something to do with race. And also her affiliation with La Raza, the race. It is something, I think, that deserves questioning. I think it's absolutely legitimate for us to do so, and it doesn't mean anybody's a racist if they ask the question. Well, for the record, La Raza says that the La Raza, uh, they say, means the community, not the race, that there are several meanings to it. But in any yeah, case, it's a whole right, other issue. Susan Molinari yeah. and Tom Tancredo, thank you both. La Raza, the race.
the race. Interesting discussion as always. We appreciate you both coming on.